Shalom, brothers and sisters, on this very important day. It's midweek, it's Wednesday, the 23rd day of March, 2016. First, I want to bring you an update. You join us tonight, very important service at our live church over at Tiny Chat. Uh, praise and worship music and our live chat room will open tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm coming to you live at 7 o'clock p.m. The rapture of the church is upon us. The rapture of the church is imminent. And something is coming. Something is approaching. Be sure to look up. Look up. Because your redemption draws nigh. I want to talk just for a quick moment about a great lie. One lie of many lies. I go back to the early church of Rome. The Pope of Rome. The Vatican. The Roman Catholic Church. This Friday, Christians unknowingly around the world will be celebrating what they call Good Friday. This could only come from the devil himself, from Satan, and from the Pope of Rome and the Roman Catholic Church. Teachings of the Roman Catholic Church and the Popes throughout the centuries. But Jesus was crucified on a Friday and they call it good. But Jesus suffered on the cross and died and was buried and they call it Good Friday. And Christians today, without knowing any better, around the world, bow down in reverence to the Roman Catholic Church and the Jesuit Pope. There's nothing good about the crucifixion, the suffering of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. But today is midweek, and this channel is all about the truth, and I'm going to bring you the truth quickly in this video. This is crucifixion and resurrection week. I won't say the word Ishtar or Easter. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Jesus said, I will be in the ground, in the earth, three days and three nights, just as Jonah was in the belly of the fish. It's not rocket science to, to understand, and you have to question this. You've had to have questioned this, that you can't get three days and three nights from Friday to Sunday. Jesus was crucified midweek on a Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And some will argue Thursday. It was preparation week. There were three Sabbaths the week of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. It was the high holy days. Jesus went to the cross midweek on a Wednesday. Three Sabbaths that day. The Feast of Unleavened Bread, Passover, a high Sabbath, and Saturday, Friday sundown until Saturday sundown the regular weekly Sabbath. It was preparation time, preparation week. Jesus was on the cross between the hours of 12 and 3, midweek. They had to get Jesus off of the cross and buried before sundown, before preparation day. Jesus was in the ground three days and three nights. And he rose on the third day, not on a Friday. Many churches come this Sunday, will be celebrating, and pastors have fallen into this lie because they are all going to perish for the lack of knowledge. I want to give you the knowledge and the understanding. Pastors, churches, they're going to have Easter egg hunts. They're going to die Easter eggs. 
families, Christian families around the world are going to color Easter eggs and put candy in baskets in celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This has nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is pagan. And the Church of Rome knows this and has willingly polluted the minds of Christians worldwide. What is celebrated on Sunday is not the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's to glorify this goddess of fertility, Ishtar, pronounced Easter. And to honor the goddess of fertility, what they used to do is lure children in with sweets and cakes to an altar where they had eggs, a symbol of fertility, rabbits, you see the, the rabbits and the Easter money, all symbols of paganism, fertility. They would place eggs all around an altar, lure children in with sweets and cakes and sacrifice the children on the altar and their blood would run down the altar onto the eggs and color the eggs. The hour is too late. We need to know the truth. We've got to stop falling prey to the teachings of the evil church of Rome and the Roman Catholic Church. Jesus was crucified midweek between the hours of 12 and 3. There were three Sabbaths that week. It was a high holy week. They had to get Jesus off the cross before the day of preparation. The Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the Saturday Sabbath. Jesus was crucified on a Wednesday, rose late on the Sabbath. And what you celebrate on Sunday comes from the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church. Celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And don't call the crucifixion good. Close your eyes today. It's Wednesday. It's midweek of crucifixion and resurrection week. Think of the price that Jesus paid on the cross today for each and every one of you to save sinners like you and me. I just wanted to share the truth with you. Join us tonight, tinychat.com forward slash Pastor Dave, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Put the link below.